Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunshine Acres. I'm Jason. I'm Kara. Today, we've been waiting a long time to do this video. <laughs> yes, we have. So we got some big news. We'll, we'll get you up to speed here, probably about midpoint of this video. But first of all, we want to go through our goals from 2023, last year's goals. And yeah, we keep them in a little picture oh. frame on the counter. I know you can't read that on the camera, but... Yeah, I mean, all in all, we go through the list. I mean, I think it's pretty successful. I mean, we didn't get everything done, but some of it's for good reason. Most of it done. Yeah. I mean, some of this we go over, you know, on the, the channel. Some of it we don't. The uh, Mexico trip, we did that, boom, last year. And we're going back in a couple weeks, so that'll be fun. Learn pressure canning. I did. Yep, success. Got the equipment, did... Uh, About 10 jars of tomatoes, 9, 10 jars. Yeah. Made some homemade spaghetti sauce. So that's good. Yeah, I expect to maybe increase a little bit this year, get a little more productivity. Mm -hmm. uh, improve videos. Uh, hopefully y'all think we're doing a little better. It's probably a slow progress, but we're getting there. I think so. Yep. Every every time, learn a little something new. Uh, epoxy pours and wood art. We probably, that's one we... God, that's a carryover. And... Actually, we're going to start it today. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I think it'll just move... quite get to it. It'll move from 2023 to 2024. We'll... Yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit later. One hiking trip per quarter last year. We yeah. we did more than that. We probably did five or six. And, we yeah. used to go all the time, so that was why I was on the goal list to start working it back in. And I think we did a good job of working that back in, and we'll talk about that more later as well. But I, I foresee 2024 being... A lot more than once a quarter. A lot more than once a quarter. Yep. Uh, five cords of firewood. Done. Done. Did that. Uh, we're selling off what we have now. You've seen a couple videos of, of hauling firewood off, so we're uh, not quite halfway down through the pile, but we're there. And it's January. It's time to uh, continue to keep moving that product. Next is new equipment building. That's done. done. You guys saw several videos on that. We, we didn't video the, the original equipment building, but we did with the, uh, the sawmill structure. So you guys have seen that, you've seen the concrete. If you've not seen that, go back and watch those videos. So now um, there's two new equipment buildings, not just one. Well, we, one, we exceeded the goal. <laughs> well, there's just one equipment building and then there's one sawmill building. That's still equipment. But the building's not called the equipment building. Okay. They are connected, kind of, so. <laughs> no, that's all good. Uh, we'll get some more progress on that this year as well. Uh, next item, build solar kiln. This is another item we actually, it's not that we didn't get to it, we chose not to do it. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but yeah, we've, we've switched gears. I, I think a solar kill may still be in the, in the works. Uh, may use it for firewood or personal lumber projects type thing, but um, it's definitely not, it's not high on the priority list and it's probably not even going on the list for 2024. It's not. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. We have a list. It's not on the list. <laughs> it's not on the list. We got the list right here. <laughs> I know. Uh, last two items. These were big last year. I uh, finished the new driveway. It's awesome. Yeah, that is cool. That's something that was on kind of on my bucket list as far as orientation of the house and, and be it when you drive in, do you come right up to the front of it? And now with the new driveway, we do. So it's very nice and, mm -hmm. and, and like that a lot. And then probably our biggest uh, between that and the wood yard, but uh, probably the biggest thing you enjoyed was getting the gate put in at the front entry. So you guys have seen uh, at least one video on that, multiple shorts and, and that kind of thing, but very happy with that. Um, looks good. Looks Fun. good, like the security of it. Mm -hmm. Yep. We've decorated it a few times, so we kind of like that. We don't have anything on it right now, but maybe springtime, kind of get a little something. Some flowers. Yeah. And do that. So, I mean, all in all, I go high five on 2023. Yep. Um, we didn't get everything done on the list, but all but two. I mean, I would. We got 10 out of 12. Yeah, it's not a list, good list if you get them all done. Then you weren't trying hard. Yeah, your, your list wasn't long enough if you, if you get everything done. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's it. We'll call, I mean, I know it's. Almost into January now. Uh, you guys see this to be close to February, but um, so we're well into 2024 20, now. But last year was very successful, very happy, and uh, 
this year will be even more. Even better. And yeah. So, big news. Yeah, we're going to do the big news now. Let's do the big news. So, this is what we've been waiting for to tell everybody. Uh, as of January 11th, which is one month before I turned 50, so a few weeks ago, I retired from commercial construction job that I've had for almost 25 years. Uh, worked with the same company that entire time. Great folks, great company, appreciate everything they've done for me. Um, out of that 25 years, probably 15 of it, I've spent traveling on the road. Gone a lot. <laughs> and Miss Kara married into traveling life. That lifestyle. Uh, but yeah, right off the bat, and you, you married into it and I've been gone, I've been on the road, flying all over the place, hotels, pretty much, pretty much every week. I mean, I try to be home on the weekends and that kind of thing, but uh, it, it's time. We put this game plan in place over two years ago, probably two and a half years ago. I let the company know two years ago. And so we had time to, to put everything together and, and we're ready, I'm excited, high five on that. I'm very ready. Yeah. Yes. So I, I don't think you can see my shirt, <laughs> but I'll, we'll get a better picture of it. And I can insert that now too. But uh, it says retired under new management. See wife for details. See me. So that's Miss Kara. <laughs> so what am I going to do? Well, we started Waxall Woodworks. You can see my hat. Thanks, brother in law, for the hats. Like the hats? Yep. So we started Waxall Woodworks. Uh, we're gonna focus on uh, the sawmill. Uh, the goal is to, we'll talk more with, uh, with the goals, but uh, the reason we didn't do the solar kiln is we're probably gonna get a vacuum kiln this summer. Um, we're gonna expand the wood shop and we're gonna expand uh, the firewood production. So that's what Waxall Woodwork and urban lumber. So if you have the, the old tree in your front yard, sentimental, you want to uh, take it down, get it cut into lumber, dried, processed, you know, whatever you need for that kind of thing. Um, those are the type of things we'll be getting into with, uh, with the Waxall Woodwork. So again, retired uh, a couple weeks now. Awesome. Absolutely. Very nice. <laughs> Highly recommend it to anybody. If you can retire as soon as you can, it has been fantastic so far and look forward to a great 2024. Me too. Yep. So we'll go around the property a little bit, uh, with a couple of these clips, but just want to go through our goals list for 2024. This will get finalized and put it in this frame. Yeah. So we see it every day on the kitchen counter. But uh, I don't know, I think this is on there every year. Lose weight and maintain it. <laughs> this is hopefully with retirement. We didn't put it on 2023. Maybe we just knew it wasn't it happening was like, yet. <laughs> man, that was my last year of, of the corporate work and that uh, was not a whole lot of emphasis was put on it last year, unfortunately. So hopefully you see less of me <laughs> this year. Well, the other big news, you want to tell them the other big news? The other big news came out of our goals to go hiking once a quarter. I had wanted to go to Highlands, North Carolina for a while. I heard that it was just a really cool little mountain town. And we went in August uh, to hike there and fell in love with it. There are waterfalls everywhere, beautiful mountains, beautiful views, cool little places to eat and shop. And next thing I know, we come home and husband's looking up properties. So we did, uh, <laughs> yeah, and all that happened pretty quick. We, yeah. made, we made a return visit. Uh, we did, actually did a video, I think, of the first trip we took, first or second, um, and a couple shorts that you guys have seen, but if you haven't seen those, go back and watch them. But yeah, so we started shopping for properties and then found, found a, a little, little condo. condo. Yeah, we went back up in September and, and saw it. We had seen it online, and it's a little thing, but it's got a garage for our motorcycles, so we will be going up there and hiking and biking. So that will be on the 2024 goals list. So we'll, you know, try and get up there a couple times a month, probably in the summer, yeah. maybe less in the winter, but that was, that was quick. Yeah. We picked it out in September, closed by the end of October, and now we are in the middle of a remodel. So. 
that re, when we say remodel, it was it, they gut were, job. <laughs> they were built in the seventies, and it was a total gut job. Yeah. So we will. Uh, it, we're calling it the Shine Shack. So everything has a sunshine uh, connotation. Connotation <laughs> to it. So the Shine Shack is in Highlands, and we'll be spending a lot of time there. Uh, the thought process is now that I'm retired and working out of Sunshine Acres full time that on the weekends I will be more than ready to probably go somewhere else. So go out and play on the weekends instead yes. of work. Yes, so that's the retirement plan is to work hard during the week and not work as hard as we have on the weekends and do play hard on the weekends. Play hard and do more hiking and motorcycle riding and, and those kind of things. So Yep, it all goes together. Yep. So that, that goes into the next couple items on the twenty twenty four Goals list is hike and bike in the mountains and highlands. So hit the shine shack up, um, really spend some quality time doing. Those are things we love to do and we need to spend more time doing it. So uh, shine shack is under uh, remodel right now. Uh, we'll share that as well. We'll do a video. We'll introduce you to the, the shine shack and I don't know if it'd just be one, uh, just kind of show where we started, renovation process and the final final product so that's on the list to do the final touches there i mean most of it's contracted out but we gotta decorate and get all the kitchen stuff and bathroom stuff oh it's, it's so much fun that's my job <laughs> it'll be great so yeah we're really looking forward to that um we talked a little bit about garden production i don't know that we'll expand our our footprint a whole lot this year but I think we can up our production a little bit. Well, we talked about doing winter garden, which we have not done yet. So yep. that, that's a big step forward, I think. Yeah, we've got a couple of things that maybe replant fruit trees. We're relocating some, some berry bushes and just kind of tweaking the garden. But I think we can get our production up level up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll be good. Look forward to that in summertime. Uh, garage makeover. And this is kind of like a one project deal. Um, but I think we can work that into the mix. That's probably low priority to I'm me. Saying, that's probably the stretch goal on the list, I would think. Yeah. But it'd be nice. We've talked about putting an epoxy floor in there and just, you know, upgrading the cabinets and storage in there. So that'll be good. Um, I don't know. You want to take this show on the road? Sure. All right, let's go around. Let's, let's do uh, it. Get off my butt. So before we go out on the property, I wanted to show you this real quick. We got a ton of really cool retirement presents, but this one is probably the most unique. This is from Mama Joan. She actually hand painted a saw blade for us with Sunshine Acres. And uh, just a really cool scene. Um, Thank you, thank you, Mama Joan, it's awesome. We'll cover this in another video, but ultimately we're gonna place that uh, right here on the, next to the pool. So really enjoying that so far. All right, so up here, firewood storage. Uh, you've seen multiple videos of this. Uh, like I said, we did five cords this year, about halfway through selling out and getting ready to start cutting for next year. You saw like the baby face cords and the metal bins and so we've already got at least one cord done for 2024 firewood and the goal is to do 10 cords this year so we've got storage for six right now so we've also talked about we're going to split this guy move it get it separated the back half empty now yeah back well it's got just a, maybe a little bit like a half a tractor bucket full um so it's empty so we'll, we'll split this guy to make it uh make the ergonomics of it a little better, but then we're gonna to need to build firewood storage for at least four more cords, approximately. I don't think it's gonna be as elaborate as this. We wanted this to look nice, we see it from the house, but uh, that's it. So 10 cords of firewood, 2024, here we go. All right, so we're up here in the barn now, and we talked a little bit earlier uh, about increasing our, our skills in the wood shop. Uh, looking to do some epoxy type pours. We got some furniture projects on the list. Right off the bat is a coffee table for the Shine Shack. So that'll be coming soon. But multiple projects we've had. Miss Kara does uh, 
finishing. Ninety percent right? of the finishing. Staining and clearing and. And getting those things done, and we've kind of located in the garage on the house for a lot of those projects. So less dust, better temperature control. But ideally, that that's still not what we would like either. So a couple of weeks ago, you saw us moving uh, things out of this corner. And you know, we've got the lawnmowers out. We actually got the motorcycles out of this location as well. And they're going to the Shine Shack. Yep, motorcycles will go up in the mountains, Shine Shack. And all that in mind is we're going to turn this corner of the barn into our finish room. So we'll build some walls here, we'll insulate it. We'll, we'll space heater. Yeah, we'll climate control it with uh, an air conditioning unit and a space heater as needed. So we get the right temperatures. It should be nice and clean, dry, you know, just ideal situation to finish our projects in. So very excited about that. And yeah, that'll be nice. Not lugging stuff back and forth from the barn to the garage, not having all the sawdust get in your stuff. Well, that's probably the other thing too. If you're trying to finish something and we want to be working on another project or I need to make two or three cuts quick. You can't really do that if you're in the middle of finishing a project. So uh, that's where that's at. So very excited. And, you know, along with that will just be our general knowledge of woodworking skills. Get get that on the up and up. And uh, should be fun. Spend a lot of time here. Cheers. Yeah, I'm excited. Cheers and a high five. And a high five. Yes. That's what we do in 2024 around here at Sunshine Acres. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go up to the wood yard. Okay. All right, so we're up here in the wood yard now. Uh, this will probably be, for me at least, this will be the bulk of where I spend my time here in 2024. And we just got a ton of projects. I'm gonna need your help with a few of them, but during the week while I'm home, I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can myself and uh, go from there. First off, I mean, we're in the utility building now. We have the sawmill building behind us. Equipment building number two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It is. But we're going to build eight foot lean tos off of each side of utility building number one. <laughs> it's going to look awesome. Yeah. So we'll get some lean tos and then ultimately we'll encapsulate um, all of the, the utility building and uh, probably half of the sawmill. It's still, the sawmill still needs access in the side so yeah we've got to uh, finish everything here as far as the construction of it the skin uh, we've got to work on some lumber for that i was originally going to use some of this oak that we milled up but now that the scope has increased to totally encapsulating it we may need to look at different options there so we've got our eyes and ears open for uh, opportunities there uh, get that done we need the utilities up here right where we stand is probably where we're going to put the vacuum kiln. Yep. And the goal is probably, I'm thinking summer, but maybe fall time frame because we need to get inventory built up of lumber uh, so we have enough on hand before we get the kiln so we can keep it busy. But where we stand is where that guy should go, and we need utilities for that. So we're going to need power and water, get those run here as well. And you guys have seen a ton of videos and pictures of the barn. Basically, I want this to look the same. So, board and batten. Yep, board and batten. Uh, you know, just got that old school look, like it's been here for 50, 100 years, and uh, I, I kind of like that style and tend to look. So, that's the goal with this guy. Yeah, so, it'll look good. Yeah. What else was on that list for up here? I mean, we. we I think that was it. Well, lumber storage. I mean, we just got to continue to expand and and. Uh, Last video you saw like a new hat for lumber storage. We, we need 10 of those. Uh, a few videos ago you saw the lumber storage with the railroad ties that we got set up for a platform. We need 10 of those or 12 maybe. He's got one per month. Mm -hmm. That would be a nice backlog uh, for the kiln. So we really got to get going, get those that infrastructure put in place and just start milling and getting product and um, getting our skill level up and, and go from there. But. I couldn't be happier, right? Oh, this is a great start. It yep. looks great already, but it's going to be even better. So the goal is to use 2024 for wax all woodworks, get that 
get it set up, get functional, and really by this time or spring of next year. Making some money. Yeah, kind of being in, uh, in, a, in a regular routine. And that's it. So in a nutshell, we're gonna be doing a ton of work here in the wood yard. We're gonna be doing a bunch of firewood. We're gonna be in the wood shop. We're gonna be at our new condo. We're gonna be at the Shine Shack. Riding motorcycles. Riding motorcycles and hiking. That you're you're not gonna see much of that, but <laughs> that's what we're doing in between what you guys see on these videos. Uh, so just couldn't be happier. It's gonna be a great year, honey. I love you. Thank you, and I look forward to an awesome 2024. I think it's gonna be one of the best years ever. Every year with Every you year. <laughs> kind of seems to be that. Well. Yeah. This one's going to be the best. That's high five. All right. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe, tell your mama, tell your friends, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.